We are still in a drought. Today we're doing loads of water things, just water. So um, my landlady cut this farm off from the mains water. I think she's trying to save the planet or something. Now we have to put an IBC on the back of the truck and then you see these two tanks here. There's a pump, a ram pump down in the, the valley down there that's on a stream and it pumps it up that yellow pipe, fills up these two water tanks. Got a nice uh, pond to overflow into for nature and um, we have to draw water out of there. And then we have to go around and put it in the water tanks around the farm. Now does that sound like a lot to do? Yeah, because it is. Drives me absolutely mental. Wish we'd never done it. Would happily pay for the water. Anywho, here we are. We're also cleaning out water tanks because after the winter, the sheep don't usually drink a lot of water in the winter and then all the leaves and crap fall in it. And we're cleaning all them out so the lambs have nice fresh water. Ta-da! Stinks has got a new toy. Lovely. And uh, we're shearing a few lambs. I'm doing a few myself this year. Now I am no expert shearer, but it costs about 150 to 175 to shear the lambs, so I'd rather just bang a few out a day. Um, started with our lambs that we've got in. We've got 40 lambs indoors that we're currently feeding. They're not. They're kind of in the outside paddock, but just because we're still in bad, bad state with our grass. So we're just trying to keep them alive, really. But yeah, I'm just practicing on them just to sort of do 10 when I can. Left the pipe in the bottom, and I. Um, stick. Ooh, like that. Oh. Still feeding these blocks, licks. <laughs> Getting through the hay as well. I mean, you know it's dry when you cact when your <laughs> cactuses, when your thistles are dying. That is dry, my friends. Lambs are looking quite well. The ewes, not so well, but they're trying to bounce back from the homunculus worm we had, and they just can't get any food from anywhere, literally. Um, you see all these uh, trees here that have come down where they've broken. I'm tempted to start sawing these up because there's quite a lot of grub on them. Um, it seems like a lot of work though, for probably not a lot, but I mean, where that's split off there, we can just cut that and just cut them off. It's quite a lot of food for them. You know you're desperate when you're doing that. It's just a bit rough to see, isn't it? It's like everything you look after and you think about 24 seven constantly, is just hungry and it's not nice. There's not a lot you can do. Oh, we're overflowing now. This black ewe here, I bought her for £30 uh, five years ago, and she's had twins, triplets, twins, triplets, like she's had so many lambs for us, and they've always gone and done. 
And this year she had a single and uh, she's been a bit plain and to me that's a sign, that's her last lamb. But we're gonna keep her lamb, the legacy lives on. Absolute hero, if I could have 500 of them done all day long, sold, I'll take them. Yeah, lovely ewe lamb she had. Also today we are fixing fences. Farmer style though, not all proper stuff with <laughs> staples and that. Um, in the Sahara back here we've got a few tups and uh, what they're doing is they're busting through the fence into the little pear orchard there, uh, which isn't ideal. So along there somewhere, there is a hole in the fence and out there somewhere I've got a few hurdles because we basically uh, land in this field and we use like a little pen. When the ewe hogs didn't want their lambs or something, we'd pen them up just in the field out there. Me being me, I only just remembered there used to be a pen out there somewhere. So somewhere out in that field are four hurdles. So yeah, we're gonna find them, plug the gap, jobs of peach. Somewhere over, I ain't got a clue. Um, I must be on top of them. Swear blind, I must be on top of them. Come on. Indy, we're looking for sheep hurdles. Come on. Thistles hanging on for dear life during the drought. I bet you they die before the rain comes. Really starting to doubt myself now whether I actually picked them up or not. I don't remember doing it. I think we're gonna have to have a change of plan. Plan B. Let's go. Two up for dogs. Maybe, uh, maybe if I just shut this gate, that's an even quicker fix for now. We'll find some gates. Classic sticking a plaster on a problem. Mm. Broke out. Thank you for watching my YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It'll help.